What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another Planet Fitness Workout. I'm Diego, Planet Fitness Trainer, and I'm so excited to getting into it today. Today's workout is gonna be a good one, and there's no equipment required, so you can pretty much join from anywhere. If you're headed back to the clubs, make sure to download that Planet Fitness app so you can check out that crowd meter and see how many members are inside the club before you arrive, so that you can determine when the best time is for you to come on in. Today's workout is going to be a core focus workout in the PF360 area. While this section of the gym has plenty of equipment for us to take advantage of, this circuit won't require any equipment, just a bit of motivation. Remember that your fitness is essential. So before we get into our warm up, please remind yourself that this is your workout. So be sure to go at your own pace and take breaks whenever you need to. I'll be sure to also show you any modifications so that you can knock them out with efficiency. All right, let's go ahead and hop into this warm up. So to begin our warm up, we're actually gonna start off in this star position and we're gonna do an exercise called windmills. So our right hand is gonna bend over and we're gonna hinge at the hip and touch our left foot and our left hand is gonna vice versa, touch that right foot. We're gonna knock out two sets of these and our interval is gonna be 30 seconds on 15 seconds off, all right? I have a timer here, so don't worry about that. And if you do have a fitness tracker, let's go ahead and let's get that fitness tracker started. And we're gonna get started with this warm up together. Let's move together in three, two, ready, go. All right, we're gonna get started with this windmill exercise. We wanna be up nice and tall, bend over, right hand is gonna touch that left foot, back up nice and slowly and vice versa. Left hand touches that right foot. There we go. This warm up is going to be so important as it's going to help get some blood flow to our to our core, and that's going to be the main target muscle group for today's workout. We're shooting for 30 seconds. We're already almost there. This is 25 seconds. Let's go for five more. Let's get one more and rest. Good. There we go. In just 15 more seconds, we're going to knock out set number two. Same exercise. Like I said, warming up is going to be a good way to lubricate the joints of our body, get some blood flow, oxygen all over to our working muscles, and it's going to help our exercise in the long term. Let's do it again in three, two, ready, go. Then over and repeat the other side. If we need to modify that, what we can do, instead of bending over so much, what we can do is we can go ahead and just bend and touch at the knee here. And that's gonna be a really nice modification that you can utilize and get some blood flow. So all our working muscles in our midsection, our shoulders, and even some blood flow to the back of the leg, there's hamstrings there. So we got a lot of muscles working and we got one more touch right here. Good, rest. Let's move on to the second exercise for our warm up. It's gonna be a wide stance. We're going to be doing a alternating side reach. These are going to go by really, really slow. We want to be really fluid with these. We want to get some extra blood flow to our oblique muscles, which are very important for rotating. Let's jump into this one in three, two, ready, go. We want to stand up nice and tall. Side reach and come back. So what we're doing here is we're doing a dynamic warm up. So a dynamic warm ups mimic movements that you're going to get into. So a lot of these are sport related and are a good way to get some blood flow and to mobilize energy sources to our muscles to help us out with our workout and rest. Just a quick 15 second breather before we hop into our workout. Uh, how's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are doing lovely. Let's do it again. Last one in three, two, ready, go. Nice and upright, side reach. Nice good stretch here. There we go. Want to make sure that we're being very fluid and we don't want to be doing anything quick. Nothing ballistic. Want to be nice and fluid. You should feel all those working muscle fibers activate and stretch. There we go. Let's knock out just a few more seconds. 
good. And rest. Awesome job. That right there is a quick two to three minute warm up. So let's go ahead and let's hop into our workout. Like I said, it's gonna be a core focused workout. A good core, a good strong core is a happy core. All right, so remember that. First exercise is gonna be two sets of mountain climbers. You're gonna get up into this high plank position, also known as a um, the starting position of a push-up. I'm gonna be in that high plank position. I want my back nice and flat. And I'm gonna bring my right knee forward just under me here. The left knee will follow and we'll alternate, all right? Let's try this one out. Two sets, we're going for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest. We're moving together. And we're gonna start together like a team in three, two, ready, go. Don't worry about the time here. This is your workout. Just knock out as many as you can with good quality form. There we go. Right here's a really good pace. And we can also challenge ourselves and we can increase the pace for each set and even throughout the set. And that's a really good way to challenge ourselves. You need to modify that, of course. We can go pretty, we can slow it down, bring that leg up and back, and we can repeat. And that's gonna get all these core muscle fibers nice and activated. And of course, we can speed it up to challenge ourselves. Last few seconds, in three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job, it's exactly how it's done. Quick breather right here, we have 10 seconds before we hop into it again. You might notice that heart rate increase that's a perfect, perfect response. Your heart rate is doing its job. It's gonna help increase the amount of oxygen we intake and help deliver more blood flow to our working muscles. All right, this is gonna be number two right here. The last one for this exercise. Let's move together in three, two, ready, go. Here we go, same thing, we're moving here. What we wanna make sure is that our core is nice and strong and we don't wanna collapse that bridge here. This is what we wanna prevent, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt your lower back, and we can get a lot more effect and work out for our core when we create that nice, strong bridge. This is 20 seconds in, 20 to go. Here we go, let's modify that and try out that version. And if we need to, for the last quarter, last 10 seconds, we pick up the pace here and challenge ourselves. Five more seconds, almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. There we go. Let's catch a quick breather here. So we just knocked out the first exercise. We only have three more to go. We're already a quarter of the way there. Let's go ahead and celebrate the quick little water break. We'll catch our breath here. There we go. Like I was saying, you might notice your heart rate and breathing increase. That's right, it's perfectly normal. As you train and as you become more efficient with your training, your heart rate is going to get used to that. It's going to be a very good and healthy way to keep that heart nice and happy. All right, moving on to our second exercise. We're going to be sitting down here. Got my nice comfy mat. We're going to be in this sit-up position. What we want to do is we want to extend those legs out and we want to lean back. This is called leg pull-ins, same thing. Two sets, 40 on, 20 off. And I'll, of course, knock out some modifications with you. Let's do this one together. Three, two, ready, go. Like I said, kick those legs out and back and pull those legs back in. We need to modify that. We're gonna have our hands right behind us as another anchor of support. And we can still perform that exercise. 15 seconds in. Another modification is we can alternate our legs. I'm gonna have my left leg kicked out. My right leg right here is going to stay anchored. I can still perform the exercise. This one takes a little bit of more coordination, but it's a nice modification from that second one we just did. Last one right here, one more, and rest. There we go. So from those three modifications, the sit-up one, the one with their arms, and the alternating, let's go ahead and pick which one's gonna challenge you the most, all while being the most comfortable and effective. And we're gonna do that for this last one right here. In three, two, 
ready, go. If you want, what you can do is you can alternate between those. And after every 15 seconds or so, you can switch and progress to the slightly more challenging one. And that's a really good way to, of course, challenge yourself to help advance to those harder ones. Do you notice a little bit of stress in your lower back? No worries, as what we can do is instead of rocking back, we can just have our legs go out. And that's gonna help ease a lot of the stress on that lower back. Let's do one more for the road and rest. Awesome job, that's already two. Let's go ahead and get a quick little water break. We're already halfway there. So that leg pulling exercise, well, is slightly difficult. You will get better the more you practice with it. So if you do notice your lower back start to hurt a little bit more, then you feel effectiveness in the abs and even in the hip flexors, no worries. Just modify whenever you need to. And as you get better at it, your lower back won't be cramping up so early. Let's move on to exercise number three. I hope you're doing well. I know you're knocking it out. Number three, we're gonna get into that four point position. So, same positioning as the first exercise, those mountain climbers. We're gonna stand, we're gonna position ourselves in a push-up position. And what we wanna do is our right hand is gonna tap the left shoulder and the left hand is gonna tap the right shoulder. After those two points, our right hand to our left foot, back to the plank, and then that left hand to that right foot. A Little bit of coordination on this one, but I know we'll work through it and you got this. Let's hop into it in three, two, ready, go. So starting off in this position, you want to be super, super stable. You want that right hand to touch the left shoulder, and vice versa. And what we want to prevent is we want to prevent any type of rocking. What I mean by that is displacing your weight. Because what that's going to do, so that's going to make your core do less work and won't be as effective. We want our core to do as much work as it could possibly do. That way we can challenge ourselves. So you want to be nice, nice and stable. And as you do this, you will get better with it. Another modification that you can utilize, instead of tapping your feet, you go ahead and tap your knees right here. That's a really nice modification. Go ahead and rest. Awesome. I know that one's a little bit of, little bit of a challenge, but when we work through it, that's how we can adapt and get better at these exercises. Just five more seconds. We're gonna knock out set number two, the last set for the four point. In three, two, Ready, go. Here we go, nice and controlled. We're gonna go for the whole 40 seconds. Even though it's not a minute, every minute is mighty. There we go, let's modify that. I'm gonna go down on my knees here, keep a nice strong core. I'm gonna utilize that same structure. Just instead of tapping the feet here, I'm gonna tap right behind that knee there. That's gonna allow my obliques get a little bit of a rotation aspect of it and get those muscles nice and turned on. There we go, five seconds, almost done. Less than a quarter. Let's finish with these last two touches and rest. Amazing job, way to push through. We only got one more exercise. Let's celebrate with a quick water break. And let's give those muscles a break. I hope, I hope you're knocking it out over there. Let me know in the comment section below what exercises you want to see next. I'll be sure to read over them and include them on the next workout. Let's go ahead. Let's finish strong just the way we started. Exercise number four, we're going to be doing a starfish crunch. The best thing about this exercise is we get to lay down. It's my favorite part of it. What we want to do is we're going to start off in this starfish. We want to be all spread out. Our right hand is going to come up. Our left leg, the opposite side is going to come up. And we're going to get close to touching our toes. And we want to make sure that we rotate our upper body and get those obliques and that rotating factor 
and aspect out of this exercise. Same thing, same structure, just two sets, 40 seconds on, 20 off. And we're gonna finish this as a team here in three, two, ready, go. Left leg comes up, right leg comes, right arm comes up, and we tap right there. Nice and fluid. Here we go. Another modification that you can utilize is you can bring your right knee up and your left elbow and go ahead and tap on that. This is a really nice way to modify it. Let's say you can't get that leg up there. You can always bend that. And you still get a great workout in for those obliques. This is 30 seconds in, just 10 to go. Last quarter, almost done, family. Let's keep pushing, challenging ourselves. One more tap and rest. There we go. We got one more set, we're so close. Let's push on strong. Let's keep challenging ourselves. As you can see there, I snuck in a quick little water break because after all, this is our workout. So if you need to, remember, please remember, take water breaks when you need to. And then we're gonna knock out that last one right here in three, two, ready, go. I'm gonna start off with that traditional one. In a few seconds here, I'll modify that. Of course, we wanna add as much variety to these so I can make sure anyone of any fitness level can hop in and join us. Here we go, this is 20 seconds in, 20 seconds to go halfway. Let's modify, get those knees in there. You notice any bit of tension and stress on that neck here, we could prop up our neck on our arms here. That's a really good word to protect our neck from any type of stress. Here we go, one more, and <laughs> rest. There we go, I'm feeling a burn in those abdominals and obliques. I hope you're getting that nice burn right there. Since we just finished that workout, let's go ahead, get a little bit of a water break before we knock out our cool down. So if you notice, I scattered water breaks throughout the entire workout, not just because water tastes good. The most important thing is water is so good at rehydrating the body and we lose a lot of water. As you can see, I'm sweating, I'm losing water through my skin, through my breathing. We want to replenish that water. It's going to help recover. It's going to help recover our body and even prevent any type of cramping um, in the future after our workouts. So take your water breaks. They're super important. All right. For our cool down, what we're going to be doing is you're going to be doing a static stretch for our obliques here. So right here, I have a frame to help me out, but you can use this pretty much almost anywhere. You don't even need a frame to do this exercise. What we wanna do is we want a nice wide stance here. My right arm is gonna come across. I'm gonna reach for this frame. And once I hold on to here, I'm gonna hold that position. I wanna be nice and static, and you should feel a little bit of stretching in this area. We're gonna hold this one set each side for 30 seconds, all right? Let's do this one. In three, two, ready, go. There we go. Utilizing this frame to hold my arm right here. I should feel the stretch in the oblique. You can also feel this on the back side, these lat muscles of the back. You might also feel it there. No worries if you feel it there, that's all right. Never a bad idea whenever you're doing a stretch and you feel other muscles help out. There we go. And since we're cooling down, let's go ahead and bring that breathing rate and heart rate back down to normal. And that's gonna be a very good response for your heart. Good, rest. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. I'll show you that we don't need a frame to do this. Just need a bit of space. Three, two, ready, go, go. So in that stretch, and now I'm gonna hold that position. So like I was saying, the benefit of a cool down is that we're allowing our blood flow to enter back into the whole system so that our heart doesn't have to pump so much to get blood flow back into the heart. Cooling down is gonna help out the heart. It's gonna prevent any type of unwanted stress and work that the heart has to do throughout our recovery. So, also, nice benefits, you're gonna relieve a lot of tension in those muscles. Let's go ahead and bring it back down. Woo. 
and Rez. Awesome job. You made it to the end. Remember that 2021 is all about moving. So keep tuning in with us and our social channels and even that Planet Fitness app for more workouts. We'll be with you every step of the way. And if you're a Black Card member, maybe hit up some of those hydro massage beds after your workouts for some added cool down and a bit of relaxation. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's really, truly a pleasure. Please take care and I will see you on the next one.